Hello there you guys, Crystal here. Welcome on into our little bit late monthly vlog. It's currently March 8th as of recording this. I don't know if I'll get this up like same day or not, but at least I'm recording it. <laughs> um, but good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is for you. It is currently uh, 9 in the morning for me on the 8th. Um, I'm recording this before I would normally go live for stream, so it just kind of worked out this way. I had everything set up, so I figured I may as well. Um, and the reason I didn't record it earlier, it was my birthday. <laughs> it was my birthday on the 3rd of March, about five days ago now. Um, and I was beforehand getting ready, running around like a chicken with my head off sort of deal for the subathon we were going to do that day. And then the day of was amazing and wonderful, but also very emotional and very draining. And then the days after, I took some time off. <laughs> so this is the first chance I've had to do this. Um, I don't know, I, I feel like no one really cares when, when or why I'm doing it. So like, as long as it comes out, it's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope that your March so far and your February went uh, well. I, I had a really good February, actually. I had a really good February. Uh, we were playing a lot of really fun games on stream. We finished Banjo Kazooie. I'm not really too fussed about getting everything. Thank you. What did you just say to me? We started and actually finished yesterday Wind Waker, which I think we're going to make that a yearly sort of thing on the channel because I enjoy playing Wind Waker so much and I literally miss it when we're not playing it. It's just too good. It's just too good. So hopefully one day, maybe Nintendo will notice us and they'll port it to the Switch if we're lucky. <laughs> We've had a lot of Pokemon news. Legends Arceus has been taking up my entire life. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> um, which somehow is, you know, I wasn't sure I was going to like it at all, but then I end up loving it, which is great. Um, we're still actually streaming the main story if you guys want to come on by on Twitch. Um, I'm actually going to be streaming that later on today, which is going to be passed by the time you guys watch this. But it's okay, don't worry about it. I'll be streaming it Saturday, Sunday as well. Uh, and my main goal right now is actually just to finish the main story because I still haven't done that. I've just been teetering around, catching Pokemon, shiny hunting, and it's been far too much fun. Um, but we are heading into the final area of the game today, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then after that, it's just post-game stuff. And the reason, by the way, that I really want to finish um, RCS and I'm happy I just finished Wind Waker even though I miss it already uh, is Rune Factory 5 and Kirby in Forgotten Land. Those both come out like within three days of each other for me. I think some places it's actually the same day um, but for me it's the 22nd and the 25th and I think it's I think it's the 22nd for Rune Factory the 25th for Kirby. I'm not actually sure I <laughs> should probably check that. I'm really looking forward to streaming those games. It's been a while. I think the last time I streamed like a farming sim was my time at Porsche, which arguably isn't necessarily a farming sim, but close enough. Uh, and I, I've only streamed the one Kirby game, which was... Got him. <laughs> <gasps> it was a time. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed it. I, I want to get more into the Kirby series, so... Um, I'm excited to try it out. I did play the demo. I played that on my birthday stream, actually. And if you guys haven't already, go check out the Kirby demo on the Nintendo Switch eShop. It is a lot of fun. It's very, very charming, which I think is the thing I keep saying about more recent Nintendo games is, oh, this is charming. This is very, like, I don't, I don't want to say cute because it's not the right word. It's just very, very nice. <laughs> the subathon. So that was, um, for my birthday, I did a subathon. If you don't know what that is, uh, pretty much I started off stream saying that I would stream a maximum of, or minimum of two hours. No matter what happened that day, I was going to stream at least two hours. Um, but if we got more subs in for every sub, I was adding time to the clock uh, to a maximum of a 10 hour stream, which we did end up doing. It's been a while since I've done one of those. Um, and it was a lot of fun, my goodness. I got to see a whole bunch of people, got to chat with everyone. Um, we got to play a whole bunch of games. I had not one, but two cakes because I wasn't suspecting a second one. <laughs> a whole bunch of presents. Um, 
honestly, the biggest thing for me was just spending time with all of you. Uh, some people came together and surprised me um, with this this very heart-wrenching video and a kudo board. So if you guys were part of that, you know who you are. Thank you so much. I cried. And then I cried again the next day. And then I looked over because um, Rosie invited me into the group DMs that you guys were all having in preparation for all this because I didn't know this was all a surprise. Um, and then I cried reading them. <laughs> So, um, there was a lot of crying. I was very emotionally tired by the end of that. Um, but it was honestly, and I, I sound like I'm just saying this and it sounds kind of cheesy, but it was, I think, actually my favorite birthday so far. I've only had 20, I guess 28, 27, 28. We'll call the day of her birth the first one. I've only had 28 of them. <laughs> um, but I think, I think that was the best one. I also haven't really done much for my own birthday uh, for the last 10 years, give or take, so um, it was really, really nice, to be honest. But during during that subathon, during the birthday stream, we unlocked a couple milestones that I'm very, very excited for. Um, the first one being, I'm going to be streaming Phasmophobia at some point, and if you know me, you know I, I don't like horror. I'm very, very squeamish, I'm very jumpy. I'm probably going to die, <laughs> um, but I'm looking forward to it because I also am fascinated by the game. Uh, we also unlocked another Mike Takeover stream, so some of you might remember the Skyrim stream that Mike did. Uh, I don't know if he's going to play Skyrim again or if he's going to play something else. He's been into a lot of different games recently, um, so we'll just have to see, but I'm sure he'll find something and I'll probably be like, you know, sitting off to the side, just vegging out. Um, we also unlocked the initial secret which was initially the final uh milestone which was initially a secret um if people had been in streams they probably had a slight guess as to what it was but i'm gonna be getting a tattoo i've never had one i am completely tattoo free um but i've wanted one of the kingdom hearts heart logo for a very long time for a couple of reasons one <clears throat> kingdom hearts is just a really important series to me it means a lot to me um i have a lot of friends who I've made from it. I have a lot of really strong memories. It kind of was the game that I kind of used as a crutch to get myself through uh, high school and some more lonely periods of my life. Um, and it also is a good reason why I actually started this channel in the first place. I didn't necessarily always think this is going to be such an Animal Crossing focus. I really enjoy Kingdom Hearts. I thought I would do videos on that, <laughs> um, which is a completely different direction than we ended up going. Um, and the other reason that for a while I've said I want Kingdom Hearts heart is it's 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 a very generic it's not generic but like you know it's a heart and if there was ever a time in my life where I grow out of using very heavy quotation marks around that out of the Kingdom Hearts series at least like you know I don't have necessarily something like Sora's face on my arm right as cool as it would be it's like it's a little bit more easy to pass off as something that's not tied to Kingdom Hearts and third reason <laughs> my Twitch friends, you guys know, uh, or maybe if you guys watch the uh, streams on YouTube, you may have seen, we uh, we have our heart sub badges. So if you are subscribed to the Twitch channel, you have any one of a number of colored hearts. They kind of gradient all the way up to, I think, eight or nine years. And then I think the last one is a rainbow. It's like a rainbow uh, gradient. And I think that's probably the one I'm going to get. I love rainbows. I love colors. You guys know me <laughs> um, as much as I wear a lot of dark colors on myself. Um, I'm still trying to decide where to get it, though. I really like I'm thinking like back here or on the side here, but I'm not really too sure. I want it to be somewhere where I can hide it, but still show it off when I want to. So um, that's going to be exciting. I've never obviously had one before and I am a bit nervous. So I'm going to be doing lots of research before I get one. <laughs> I've had a couple different people reach out to me and be like, hey, I have a lot of tattoos. Let me give you the rundown, which is very appreciated. Um, and then the last thing, the stretch milestone that we reached. I think I'm actually more scared of this than I am of getting the tattoo and than I am of phasmophobia. <laughs> I'm going to be doing an on-camera ring fit stream. If you guys have been around the streams or the channel for a while, you know I don't usually stand up on camera. I've been doing it a little bit more recently. I'm a little bit more comfortable, but usually I don't stand up. We had a long running joke, you know, Twitch stole my legs. They didn't, they're fine. But like, you know, um, Twitch don't come after me. <laughs> 
Um, it's just not something I've really been comfortable with, but I really want to do this. I've wanted to do Ring Fit streams for a while. I wasn't necessarily planning them to be on camera though, um, but this first one at least will be. And I'm already foreseeing uh, the amount of just legs, just pointing out the legs in chat, and also just me huffing and puffing, dying because I haven't been doing Ring Fit recently. <laughs> it's gonna be bad, it's gonna be bad. I don't know when any of these are gonna be, by the way. I just know they will be happening at some point. So that's hype, that's exciting. Um, I got a new camera. Anyone in here notice? I also, I'm sorry if the lighting's kinda wonky a bit, it's a bit bright there. Um, kinda testing it out. We got a new, uh, it's a Logitech Brio. It's very, very nice. It's a webcam still, but it's a slightly bigger step up between a standard you know, 1080p webcam and a DSLR. It's like this kind of middle ground zone thing. I think that's what they were marketing it as actually. Um, and Mike got it for me for my birthday. I am in love with it. It looks so good. I don't have any lighting on by the way. I just have the window open. Um, I still need to adjust the white balance because I'm pale, but like, I'm not like, I guess I kind of am that pale actually. <laughs> I'm pretty pale. You know what? Never mind. Just don't listen to me. Um, but yeah, usually I have the stream lights on and stuff uh, by now, but I've just been kind of enjoying the natural sunlight. It's very nice and sunny today, so. Um, but yeah, I've been really enjoying that. I debuted it for the first time yesterday on stream, although that was with the green screen, so people didn't actually get to see how wide of a view. You guys can see my very full laundry bag. I, I promise I need to do laundry like later on today. <laughs> very full laundry basket. Actually, maybe that's going to be tomorrow. That should probably be tomorrow. Um, and all the way over to the cat tree, like before it was like this box you could see. Like you couldn't see any of this. And this isn't even the furthest out it can go. It can go further. <laughs> I have it on the middle setting. Uh, which is really, really nice. I really enjoy it, so. Um, in other news, Happy Home Designer series, I am working on the, uh, graphics, I guess, for it right now. It is still happening, I promise. Stardew, bit of a back burner because Majora's Mask is still taking five years to edit. <laughs> I found out, by the way, I'm an idiot. Uh, I was like, okay, I need to go edit some more Majora's Mask last night. So I did. And then I went to upload the thing that I had just rendered. I just finished rendering it. It was done editing and everything. And then I look at the number of the most recent episode I had uploaded. I'm like, wait a minute. I've been editing and rendering, but not uploading. I have like five of them that I've just been sitting on that I could have been uploading. And I completely forgot. So. Those are coming out, like, over the next couple days, I promise. Um, so that's a thing to look forward to. The other funny thing going on right now, I was telling stream about this yesterday, but if you guys weren't there, um, I, uh, not this last Friday, but the Friday before, I went in to get my eyes checked, um, which has been a long time coming because that right there, that's a TV. It's a very nice TV, I really like it. This is my bed and it goes, you know, all the way back that way and when i'm sitting back on my bed i cannot see that tv clearly i can see it i can make it out but like i'm sitting there like you know giving it like the evil eye or eyes i guess and like giving it dirty looks trying to read it <laughs> um so i figured it was time and me being the anxious and just anxiety driven person i am I was like, okay, I'm gonna go in there and they're gonna tell me that like my eyes are fine and they don't know what I'm on about and like everyone sees this way and that I'm just dumb. That's not what happened. They went in or I went in and they were like, yeah, your prescriptions changed quite a bit. You should have been in here a while ago. And I'm like, oh, thank you for the validation. <laughs> um, so I, I got that done. And then uh, Mike and I, uh, went to a website. Usually I would go into a glasses store um, or go to the same place I got my eyes checked. Um, but Mike's mom actually suggested to us this glasses website uh, where you can buy frames and lenses and they'll ship it to you. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, it's actually usually a bit cheaper. Um, and that's how I found out two things. One, there's a lot more measurements in glasses than I realized because I got one wrong. Um, and two, I don't have the nose or the face shape for glasses that don't have nose pads. I've ordered in two pairs of glasses because they were very 
good price. Um, and I can't wear either of them because one, they're both a little bit too big for my face. Apparently I have a very small face. I thought I had a fat head, but I guess not. <laughs> and uh, two, my nose is dumb and I literally like those little nose pads. I need those or else they, they slip down too low. Uh, so we're having to return those. And Mike and I went in this last Friday, <laughs> not the last last, it's next week. Um, and uh, I actually went into a glasses store and I'm like, hi, I um, I need a pair that's like, you know, similar style to this because I, I, I'm very comfortable with this. I don't really want to go for away from this style. And the guy's like, okay, I got you. He literally looked at me for like a minute, turns around, goes to a case and finds this exact pair. I didn't even tell him the brand, exact pair, exact same brand. The only difference with the new ones is this bit, this black bit is going to be a bit lighter. It's like a lighter, uh, it's like a brownish gold, I think. Bronzy, maybe. I don't know, I'm not good with colors. <laughs> Um, so that's going to look a bit different, but otherwise exact same pair of glasses. I think the lenses might be a little bit bigger and I'm looking forward to being able to see. <laughs> I was able to see through the new glasses we ordered, but I had to like hold them up like this. Uh, but being able to see and like sit back in bed and like play a game and not be like get an eye strain. Oh, it's going to be amazing. So y'all better watch out. I'm going to be seeing things. <laughs> I'm really excited. Um, Overall, it's just, it was a lot of anxiety for me just going in there, um, but I'm glad that it's done and I'm glad that I don't have to worry about it anymore. And the only thing I have to do is this Friday, <laughs> it's all happening on Fridays, uh, I have to go and pick up my glasses. So I'm excited. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much all the ranting and raving. I wanted. How long have I been doing this? Like 20 minutes? A little bit under. That's all right. That's decent. Um, I hope that you guys have an awesome rest of your March. I'm sorry this is late again. Hopefully I'll be able to get one up earlier next month. Um, I need to go get ready for stream. Yeah, I'm going to go. <laughs> Thank you guys so very much for, for hanging out and for listening to me. If you got this far, I appreciate you. Um, keep an eye out for the Happy Home Paradise playthrough. I am working on it. It just has been kind of slow going. <laughs> um, and yeah. Have a good one. I'll see you guys next month.